My poor Frale, I think Thorald's still alive, but I know better. All right. Mm-hmm. Find the moonstone for that. Oh, there's <laughs> got to be, um... You can't catch me! <laughs> got to be kids. You can't catch me! Hey, do you have a minute? What is it? About my mother. Wouldn't it be a good time to visit her again? To let her know that my dad is... <sighs> you know what I'm talking about. Yes, it would be a good idea. Great, but I can't help but feeling worried. What if she really doesn't want to see me again? <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> yes. I did say that once. Thanks for keeping my spirits up. Braith is a big meanie. She keeps telling Lars and me what to do. I don't want to play with her anymore. I got something for you. Wow, really? What do you get me? You're the best. Thanks. Magic Elven Dagger. I hope you like it. Do you need something? Uh, have you thought about getting cured of vampirism? No. Why? Look what it did to your family. Even before that, we weren't the most normal family. We did worship a Daedra, remember? You want to cure yourself, I'll support you. I know, thanks. I'll need to think about this a bit more. You kind of just brought this up now. And we are talking about the rest of my life here. What's the plan? Give me a look at that sword. Sure thing. Very well. Yeah. 
steel. Yeah, just steel. Got some good pieces out here if you look. Take a look. Oh, you got a refined wrench there. Good nice steel. Uh, Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Those green apples you sold me the other day were delicious. My poor Fralia thinks Thorald's still alive, but I know better. Gods be praised. You don't have steel? Oh my god. Oh. Maybe I have steel. I do. Right. Shh, trying to think here. Ugh, what is it? I upgraded the sword. This better not... Ugh. Just do whatever you have to do. <laughs> Nothing else then? I trust you're faring well. <sighs> well, it's been an adventure. All I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. I hate it when you look at me like that, Serana. Like if you're going to eat me or something.
<laughs> said his personal armored troll bodyguard. It must be. There's no weapon clock to put Coriel's bow up here anyway. Is this supposed to be... yeah, this is supposed to be where I reside here. Okay. If you need me, I'm here. Of course. I don't think she's ever used that. Alright, that's all the Dawn Guard stuff done, I suppose. Hey, so about my vampirism. I've made a decision. Yeah? I want to get cured. I've heard of Falion, that alchemist back in Morthal, knows about these things. I will need to go away for a while. I'll meet you back home when I'm done. Good luck. I'll see you soon. And no using the teleport spell. I'll trust that you'll stay out of trouble for the meantime. Alright. Aw, come on. It's only going to be a few days. Read a book. The lessons of Vivek should keep you occupied. <laughs> it's colossal. Exactly. Anyway, I'll really be off now. See you.
Well, she's out of sight now. God. What can you say? What the hell? lost unknown and rise to your depths <laughs> and scrub the lexicon give it quickly extraordinary I see it now the ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals Dwemer blood can loose the hooks but none alive remain to bear it a panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick. Something they did not anticipate. No, not even them. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. The elves still living provide the key. Bear you hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. Uh, why are you so eager to open the box? Ah, the box contains the heart. Ah, the essence of a god. I have devoted my life to the Elder Scrolls, but their knowledge is a passing awareness when compared to the encompassing mind of divinity. The Dwemer were the last to touch it. It was thought to have been destroyed by the Nerevarine, but my lord told me otherwise. Lord? The Daedric Prince of the Unknown, Hermaeus Mora. I thought there were no secrets left to know until I first spoke to him. He asks a price to work his will. A few murders, some dissent spread, a plague or two, for the secrets I can endure. In time, he brought me here, it's to the box. But he won't reveal how to open it. Maddening! A few murders. Oh my god. Let's try that again. Come. Sir, bask in my presence. Who are you? I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been watching. What do you want from me? Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. 
When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? I don't think so. Be warned. Many have thought as you do. I have broken them all. You shall not evade me forever. <coughs> Ah, good to see you again. How'd that delivery go? Went fine. Quite a climb, wasn't it? Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. All right. Right then. Sales and go. What's on your mind? All right then. <laughs> Hello, friend. Be careful out there. Good to see you. Take care of yourself.
<laughs> Are you hungry? I could make a meal for you if you like. Uh, no right now. Well, if you say so. Of course. Any time. Papa, you're back. Could you give me an allowance? Sure, I have 25 gold. Thanks. Right. Ouch! Oh, you stepped on my toe. Yeah. 